Well, the IU Melvin and Bryn Simon Cancer Center has been advancing health care in the state for uh, two decades. And just this week, it earned one of the highest honors in the country. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta has more. Kylie. Thank you very much, Gary. The National Cancer Institute designated the IU Simon Cancer Center as a comprehensive cancer center. It's the most prestigious category in the country and puts it in the company of places like the Mayo Clinic Cancer Center and the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. And here to tell us more about what this means for the center and for Hoosier patients is the director of the IU Simon Cancer Center, Dr. Patrick Lair. Thanks for being on the show well, and my pleasure. congratulations on the new achievement. Thank you. We're very excited about this. So the IU Simon Cancer Center has been a clinical cancer center for 20 years. Mm -hmm. What's the significance of being bumped up to this highest tier, a comprehensive cancer center? Sure. There, there's a, a lot of really great hospitals in the country and great universities. Only a few of them actually become NCI designated cancer centers, and we've been that way for 20 years. Um, this is like going from a, uh, a college freshman basketball team to be in the NBA, um, to be in there in the in the, uh, the elite group of hospitals, as you mentioned, with Dana Farber, MD Anderson, uh, Johns Hopkins. We're now at the table with them. It means a lot for our members to be able to have this kind of respect to be in that group of people. One of the biggest achievements at the IU Simon Cancer Center is that it found the cure for testicular cancer. So this new designation, what does that mean, and the funding that comes with it, what does that mean for research moving forward? Yeah, so the designation of comprehensiveness actually means that we have excellence in basic research, clinical research, and population science, and we show great uh, synergy between these as well as doing work around Indiana and beyond. Um, the essence of what we do is team science. We've got over 250 members of our cancer center. So if you have a disease like testis cancer and Larry Einhorn, he worked with the urologist to put together a regimen. Cancers today are much more complex and it requires a team of researchers understanding the biology of this. So what this means uh, is uh, particularly for our patients, what it means is um, that uh, they are going to have a, a team of people behind their physicians to help them with their cancers. Now let's talk a little bit about the, the patients. Uh, if you're a newly diagnosed patient uh, with cancer in Indiana, I mean, what does this mean for them? Mm -hmm. Well, I think, first of all, it means that patients don't need to travel to get the best care. Uh, this is really an elite cancer institute that it has outstanding doctors and nurses, but also has a team of researchers behind it. The cancer itself is far more complex than we thought it was 30 or 40 years ago when we might pick a drug off the shelf and try to treat it. We now realize that the genetic makeup of cancer is unique with each patient who has cancer. And understanding that, the pathways that are involved with that allow us now to look at specific markers and treatments that hit targets that can impact the outcomes of patients with cancer and also their symptoms. And the center has also been a springboard for startup companies, patents, intellectual property. How does this designation build more momentum for those types of things? Well, again, we have, I think, again, we have the best and the brightest in Indiana University, and they want to make a difference. And so many of our researchers, such as Dr. David Boothman and Mark Kelly, have worked on pathways, identified drugs, and then created startup companies to help support these. We've had probably uh, about 65 different patents that have come over the last few years. Uh, about 13 different startup companies. So our research actually is an incubator for the business here in Indiana. And there are only 50 other comprehensive cancer centers in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, what does this mean for Indiana, for IU Simon Cancer Center, our reputation on a national scale? Yeah, we've been doing great work here for many years, and but what this does is it puts an imprimatur on our work. And the last uh, uh, cancer center uh, in the country that came from the Midwest was 11 years ago. And so this is something that's a very rare prize to get, and I think it's a great designation. So I think basically we should be proud of this as citizens of Indiana, that we are up there in the ranks of all the other scientists in the country. And just a few seconds left, not yeah. to make it all about money, but yeah, uh, yeah. this is a lot more funding comes yeah, with it. So we will get about 50% more dollars uh, in this grant period than we had last time, and that we'll use this for uh, helping to buy shared resources, equipment for our group, help with pilot projects, and this will also help attract uh, the top talent from around the country. All right, Dr. Lair, thanks for being here, and uh, again, congratulations. It's my pleasure. Thanks, Kylie. Gary, back to you.